So now we go to uh, uh, vegetable oil mixture uh, of sodium hydroxide, uh, or rather, normally these are we normally prepare saponification. Vegetable oil is mixed with concentrated sodium hydroxide and boiled. You have to say boiled, not heated. To the mixture, you add solid sodium chloride so as to reduce the solubility of soap in glycerol, or rather to precipitate the soap. This separates the soap from other products formed in a process called sorting out. So e, there's a lot of questions that can be tested here. First of all, manufacture of soap requires three steps. Vegetable oil is mixed with concentrated sodium hydroxide and boil, tick one mark. Sodium chloride crystals is added. Then you filter to obtain soap. But now there are questions that can be asked when you have a vegetable oil, sodium hydroxide, then you leave with what is, then you're told substance Y. Then you're told what is substance Y. It is solid sodium chloride. What is the role of it to reduce the solubility of soap in crystal? And what is the name of that process sorting out? So you see, the addition of sodium chloride can be tested in three ways. You can be told what is added. You can be told the role of it. You can be told the process. Are we together? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Yes. The that the general formula of the hero. When I took by you, the R O O that is the normally prepare salts of sodium. So let's look at now the formula how to prepare salt. The piango e kitu. When the student when they are given something like that, they start wondering. When you're given this kind of a thing. You are dealing with sodium hydroxide. So what you need to do, cut a heat from here. Oh, let me just show you because it is animated. Let me not reanimate it. Let me just continue. So what happens is, there we have the fat oil. This is simply fat oil, which is simply called an ester. You could either, what is this? Just say it is an ester. So when you're told, what, what is this one? This is an ester. Fat and oil are esters. This is an ester. This is an ester. It is reacting with sodium hydroxide. So what happens now from there? Let, I just want to show you. Uh -huh. So now what happened to that now? This component here. Uh -huh, let me just see. I have an animated. This. We get so uh -huh, plus this. So let me show you what happens. No, no. What we are saying is this, this demarcation here with the blue. So this part, this part now combined with sodium. So to nakata each side, to nakuja to replace na sodium. Now you part, and you back the CH2, CH, CH2 combined with OH. And this is where they give this. So you get these ones now. These ones now combine with OH to form glycerol. Then the remaining component, this one combined with sodium. And because this is in it, that would be manner to take the formula of soap, like this now the soap, and this now the glycerol. Let me just try to summarize it even better. So here, in short, can be written like this. Sorry. RCOO, CH2, this is now simplifying it. RCOH, CH2, CH. So what happens now? The black component combined with sodium, ikapata soap. The red component, CH2, each put to vileiko, ikuje combine OH, ikupe glycerol. Now, ER is any, it is an alkyl. Alkyl is anything with the formula of CN. Two N plus one. So E ikiwa R C ikiwa 10, H itakuwa 21. Sorry. Kwa nini kwa hapa? I'm saying this R stands for C N H 2 N plus 1. If N is 10, H itakuwa 10 times 2 plus 1, which is H21, then C O O like that. Let me show you a real example. Hii ndiyo mmepata kwa kwa kitabu sasa. C17H35. So, tumesema 
nini ya hii inaendanga na CnH2n+1 kama hii ni 17 2 times 17 is equal to 34 plus 1 35 that's exactly what you need to do then you just copy the way it is this is COO so what you do the same way I've told you this component unakuja unaikata hii component na combine na sodium ina form the soap vile iko hapa then the remaining component ina remain a OH ina to pair the glycerol that is now this part combined with this to give you glycerol let me give you show you the the summary so this is how now it is written here that ch h17 then coo you just unaikatia to have even ndio inaandika kwa mtia kwa kwa kitabu then plus this one so this component just pick it the way it is one c17 that for co and because ni tatu weka to three then it is combined with sodium the remaining components ch sorry the remaining component ch2 ch2 ch combined with oh gives you glycerol and that exactly what you can be able to get just focus on this last statement this last equation unakuja unaangalia mahali o imeishia chukua hapo combined with sodium you get your salt the other remaining components ch2 ch2 ch 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 ch2 ch ch2 combined with oh to give you glycerol does it make your work easy students yes 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 that is exactly how you said me 17 hii tuna tukisema hii ni h11 kwa nini if this if h is 11 if c is 11 h itakuwa ngapi 23 23 so don't bother just know this thing is called an ester yes. then just know this one is so, all right this thing is like this this thing is so right so right if this one is called an ester this one is called so and the other one is period wachana na hizo mingi the propan 1 2 3 tri octadecanoid I'm a sodium octadecanoid. Just know this one is called salt. This one belongs to class of organic compound called an ester. Tunaelewana? Yes. Thank you. Yes. For you the Yes. Play with the simple way of uh, understanding this one. Hapo uko na vegetable oil and kama oil. Uko na sodium at boil. When you boil, add sodium chloride. The role of sodium chloride is to a little bit of soap in glycerol then you filter the soap will be the residue glycerol will be the filtrate you know the letter kitu kama kwa mtiani huyu examine hata anakuja na kuandikia this is x na kuuliza what is x x is sodium chloride what the role of sodium chloride to reduce the solubility of soap in glycerol and what is the role of that soap it will you call what do you call that process it is sorting out know what is added the role of each and the process then when you filter you are going to have the soap as a residue and glycerol as a filtrate then during manufacture of soap there are some additives that are added to improve its quality kuna different types of soap soap kama kuna panga soap kuna dofu kuna itijui kifaru and kuna zingine kama geisha what are the differences if you are given panga soap students and you are given geisha which one do you pick first ya kuoga Unaenda gani? Geisha. 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 Ah, eh? <laughs> Kona <Kona rupo>. mzuri. <laughs> geisha, why do you go for geisha? So, the Kona issue rupo is what, what makes geisha better than the other? We first of all iko colored. Si ni kweli? Yes. So, addition tangents, perfumes inazonanukia vizuri, then kuna a deceptive kama dest sikuna inatangwa aje kuna inatangwa is it dest inatangwaje what do you call this uh, get it soft get it so those ones now you see they are the ones that we had a deceptive so we have a this addition of a deceptive addition of coloring agents addition of builders and perfumes these ones are added to improve the quality of soap sawa you can be add what improve the quality of soap things are not 
in your notes. Fat and oils are fat occur in animals, while animals, uh, while oils occur in both plants and animals. Fat is saturated, while oil is unsaturated. To differentiate between fat and oil, you add a few drops of acetified potassium. In oil, purple potassium, manganese 7 will be decaralyzed, while in fat, it will not be decaralyzed. So, somebody will find an examiner out telling you what observation it meant when acidified potassium manganese 7 was added to a sample of Eliando oil. Maybe your dog is oil. Oil are unsaturated. So when you add acidified potassium manganese 7, it will be decar decaralyzed. Do you know what, eh? Yes. Yes. But always remember, that's why we always um, convert oil to fat through hydrogenation. Hydrogenation can only take place in a substance that is unsaturated. I can tell you, describe how you can convert oil to fat. Then you're going to say bubble hydrogen through the what? oil in the presence of nickel catalyst and, pre and, and temperature maintained at 200 degrees Celsius. The oil will be converted to fat. But now, the end of the fornication. Now, can you press the tangent? In the Omuna, if the is on three pages, I'm just going to do lines. How do you make so place the tangent? They are normally made from petroleum product. How do we go about the hydro? I reacted with benzene to form alkyl benzene, thick. The alkyl benzene is treated with sulfuric acid to form alkyl benzene, thick. Then, benzene sulfonate is hydrolyzed, sodium hydroxide to form sodium alkyl benzene. Sulfonate, which is the soplet. You can do a describe how to make soplet the tangent. You only need three lines, which is going to give you three marks. The carbon is reacted with benzene at high temperature to form alkyl benzene. The alkyl is treated with sulfuric acid, alkyl benzene, sulfonate. And finally, hydrolyze sodium hydroxide to form alkyl benzene. Sulfony, which is the stopless time. And the summary in the UE, benzene, you hydrocarbon. To react to them, you get. Then you add sulfuric acid, unapata alkyl benzene sulfony. And then sulfony is now added with sodium hydroxide now to form sodium alkyl benzene sulfony. And that is how to summarize preparation of surplus detergents in one line. You understand? Yes. 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 And to differentiate, Nini or surplus the soap, Kalia, surplus the zinc ring, and the saphonate. A surplus detergent, leather easily, and soap the. Yeah, they are the